that as many times as you need me to, but you have to ask me. So if you think I said a different word than what I actually said, it's best for you to ask me to repeat it, because if you misspell it based on that, then that would be a misspelling and you would be out, okay? All right, you can ask me to repeat it. You can ask me to use it in a sentence. You can also ask me for the definition of the word, okay? Any of those things. And again, I can repeat that as many times as you need me to, but you have to ask me, okay? Um, you have a notepad and a pencil. Those are for you to use to write out the word. You can bring that up to the microphone with you. You can even write it out and read it from that paper, okay? So please use your resources so that you will give me exactly what you're wanting me to hear. When you're at the microphone, you can adjust that. So you can pull that down or push it back up. You need to speak very closely to the microphone so that I can hear you. Speak loudly and speak clearly. For example, if you're whispering, I cannot understand what you're saying. I'm going to have to ask you to repeat that. I won't be able to hear what you're saying. Also, if you, let's say I give you the word cat, and we know cat is spelled C-A-T, but you accidentally say K-O-C-A-T. I have to take that first response, okay? So that's why it's very important that you use your paper, write that word down so that you can see it, and then read that off to me um, so that you're telling me exactly what you want me to hear, okay? Everybody understand any questions about that? Okay, if you misspell a word, if, you, um, if it's your turn and you misspell, you're going to go back to your seat right up here. At the end of that round, we'll ask you to go sit in the back. So there are some chairs back here. We'll just ask you to get up at the end of that round and go sit in the back, okay? So we'll finish that round out, and then if you had misspelled a word, we'll ask you to go sit in the back. Any questions about that? Okay. So we are gonna get started with a practice round first. So even if you misspell a word during this practice round, that's okay, okay? It's a practice round. You'll still be in the spelling bee, okay? Okay, so Bracken is first, and he's gonna come up to the microphone, adjust that for himself, and then I'm gonna give him his word and you wanna step where you're facing the judges here. So you can move it back around Bracken because these are the people that are judging what you're saying. So we wanna make sure we see you and we hear you, okay? All right, your word is large. Large, large. L-A-R-G-E. Very good, that was correct. You just wanna speak a little bit louder, okay? All right, perfect. Next person, Eli. Your word is salt. S-A-L-T. Correct. Ezekiel. Tack. T-A-C-K. Very good. Very good. Hudson. Cub. C U B Cub. Correct, Hudson, and you want to speak really loud into that microphone, okay, so I can hear you. All right, Miles. Your word is strong. S T R S T R O N G. Very good. And you want to speak just really just a little bit louder, okay, into that microphone. All right, Paxton. File. File, F-I-L-E. Correct. Briley. Rake. R-A-K-E. Correct. You want to speak quite loudly into that microphone so we can hear you. And Dax. Mess. M-E-S-S. -S. Correct. 
Okay, so that ends our practice round. So the next round is going to be our very first round of competition, okay? Again, remind you that you can use your resources, you can use your paper, and you can take that with you to the microphone, okay? Any questions before we begin? All right, good luck, everybody. All right, first person up, Bracken. Pill. pill. I'm looking for the pill that means a medicine in the form of a little ball or small rounded mass. Pill. Pill. P I L L. Correct. Eli. Sniff. S N I F F. Correct. Ezekiel. Twig. T W I G. Correct. Hudson. Next. N E X T. Next. Correct. Miles. Scoop. S C O O P. Correct. Paxton. Drill. Drill. D R I L L. Correct. Briley. Sweet. S W E E T. Correct. Dax. Bolt. B O L T. Correct. Okay, that ends round one, and everyone is still in. And reminder to you all to speak very loudly into the microphone. You may think you're being too loud, but that's okay. Speak very loudly and clearly so that we can hear you. All right, round two. Bracken. Jazz. Jazz. J-A-Z-Z. -Z -Z. Correct. Eli. Bunch. B-U-N-C-H. Yes, correct. Ezekiel. Harsh. H A R S H. Correct. Hudson. Trunk. T R U N K. Yes, correct. Miles. Proud. P R O U D. Correct. Paxton. Shine. Shine. S H I N E. Correct. Briley. Twice. T W I C E. Correct. Dax. Ballroom. B A L O L R O O M. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is B A L L R O O M. All right, that is the end of round two. If you misspelled a word, you may go sit in the back. Thank you. Starting with round three. And Bracken. Cakewalk. Cakewalk. C-A-K-E-W-A-L. 
L K. Correct. Eli. Grapevine. G R A P E V I N E. Correct. Hudson or Ezekiel, I'm sorry. Homework. H O M E W R I mean O R K. It's incorrect. H O M E W O R K. You may have a seat. Hudson. Locker. Can you repeat the words? Locker. L O C K E R. Correct. Miles. Fate. F A T E. Correct. Paxton. Gulp. G U L P. Correct. Briley. Briley. Rainy. R A I N Y. Correct. Okay, we're beginning round four. Okay, beginning round four. If you misspelled a word, please go sit in the back. Bracken. Backpack. Backpack. B A C K P A C K. Correct. Eli. Church. C H U R C H. Correct. Hudson. Blimp. B-L-I-M-P. Correct. Miles. Stew. I'm looking for the word that you would cook in a little liquid over a gentle fire. Stew. S-T-E-W. Correct. Paxton. Cherry. C H E R R Y. Correct. Briley. Briley. Tongs. The word is tongs. 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 An instrument for taking hold of objects for ease and convenience of handling. Tongs. T O N G E S. That is incorrect. It is T O N G S. Okay, that is the end of that round. If you missed a word, you may go sit in the back. And we're beginning round five. Bracken. Batter. Batter. B A T T. E R. Correct. Correct. Eli? Eli? Drawer. D R E W E R. That is incorrect. It is D R A W E R. Hudson? Hudson? Flock. L-O-C-K. Correct. Miles? You can pull the microphone down where you can. we can hear you. Broth. B-R-A-W-T-H. That is incorrect. The word is B-R-O-T-H. Broth. Paxton? Shamrock. S. H A M R O C K. That is correct. That is the end of round five. 
We'll be beginning round six. If you missed a word that round, please go have a seat in the back. Bracken. Bookworm. Bookworm. B O O K W O R M. Correct. Hudson? Army. A R M Y. Correct. Paxton? Lobby. L O B B Y. Correct. Okay, that is the end of round six, beginning round seven. My, uh, Bracken. Jumbo. Jumbo. J U M B O. Correct. Hudson? Tough. T O U G H. Correct. Paxton? Bagpipe. Will you repeat the word? Bagpipe. B A G P I P E. Correct. Beginning round eight. Bracken. Stern. Stern. S T E R N. Correct. Stern. Hudson? Hamper. Can you repeat the word? Hamper. H A M P E R. Correct. Paxton? Gravy. G R A V Y. Correct. Beginning round nine. Bracken. Firefly. Firefly. F I R E F L Y. Correct. Hudson. Handcuffs. H H A N D C U F F S. Correct. Paxton Frugal. Will you repeat the word? Frugal. F R O O G L Y. That is incorrect. It is F R U G A L. And that is the end of round nine. So if you missed a word, you may go sit in the back. Beginning of round 10. So now that we only have two left, we have some rules that we need to discuss. So if Bracken spells his word incorrectly, then Hudson would need to spell a different word correctly along with a championship word correctly. If Hudson were to miss the championship word, Bracken would remain in the round and we would start that over. That was just used as an example. Does everyone understand? So you must spell an additional word and then a championship word to be declared the winner, okay? All right, we're beginning round 10, Bracken. Wind chill. Could you repeat the word? Wind chill. Wind chill. W I N D C H I L L. Correct. Crutch. C R U T C H. Correct. 
We're going to pause for just a second as they are making a class change and the noise would be too loud for the um, participants to hear. So as soon as that class change has ended, we will start again. Okay, this begins round 11, Bracken. Ginger. Ginger. G-I-N-G-E-R. Correct. Hudson? Chowder. C-H-O-W-D-E-R. Correct. Round 12, Bracken, Drifting, Drifting, D-R-I-F-T-I-N-G. Correct. Hudson? Fleet, F-L-E-E-T. Correct. Round 13, Bracken, Solve, Solve, S-O-L-V-E, correct, that's it, Sunflower, S-U-N-F-L-O-W-E, R. Correct. Round 14. Bracken. Steam. Steam. S T E A M. Correct. Hudson. Gleeful. G L 
E E F U L. Correct. Round 15, Bracken. Sparkle. Could you repeat the word? Sparkle. S P A R K L E. Correct. Mixer. M I X E R. Correct. Round 16. Bracken. Stench. S T E N C H. Correct. Scent. I'm looking for the word that is where you use the olfactory organ in seeking or tracking prey. Scent. S C E N T. Correct. Round 17. Bracken. Clinic. C L I N I C. Correct. Chapter. C H A P T E R. Correct. Round eighteen. Pudding. P U D D I N G. Correct. Herbs. Can you use it in a sentence? Carl guarded carefully the secret of which herbs he put in his barbecue sauce. Herbs. E R B S. That is incorrect. It is H E R B S. Bracken. Apron. A P R O N. That is correct. So now you must spell one of our championship words to move on. Your word is serious. S E R I O U S. Correct. So that makes Bracken Welty our winner and Hudson Smith Art our runner up. Please give them a round of applause. And thank you to all of our participants as you did a great job today. This is really hard getting up in front of all of these people and spelling words. So I really appreciate you doing this today. Congratulations. So we're going to present our trophies to our winners. All right, so for our runner-up, Hudson Smithhart. And the winner of our primary Henderson County District Spelling Bee, Bracken Welty. Congratulations, our 4-5 B will start momentarily.
Happy Friday, everyone. And we are live here at the South Middle School. It is the District Spelling Bee for 2022. We just have completed the very first division, which is the kindergarten through third grade. And um, Jennifer Richmond is with Brands of spelling bee. So we have come through three history students did, and they they were great. They were just remarkable. It went pretty long, I thought. It went much longer than I think anybody anticipated. They were all so good, and we want to congratulate our runner-up, Mr. Hudson Smithhart, who is with East Heights Elementary, and our winner, Bracken Wilty of Ben Gate Elementary. Go Gators, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens next. We've got the 4th uh, and 5th graders, right? Yes, and it looks like they are here and waiting anxiously for their turn, so please stay tuned and we will get them up here quickly. Sounds good. And again, I want to say a big thanks to our sponsor, the Henderson County Public Library, who's helping us along with the Henderson County School District. And uh, real quick, uh, we've got a reading uh, program about to uh, wrap up uh, very soon. The Read Across America Day is coming up. Yes, our winter reading challenge will go through the 4th of March. We ask our families to take pictures of your student and put that on social media with hashtag HCSReads. And and all next week we will be celebrating because March 2nd is Read Across America Day. And we're going to be highlighting community members and their love of reading and why reading is so important. And that's always been a great thing that you folks have been working on for so long to get our young people at uh, the fourth grade reading level and and i'm hearing they're they're now trying to push that even younger to maybe the third grade so uh, we'll continue to follow that and keep folks up to date i think we may have just uh, received some of our next uh, contestants getting ready to take the stage yes north middle school just came in they're just a little bit early but that's great that they're here to support all of our other students who have not gone just yet and, uh, of course, they'll be the last uh, group that will come up here. And we'll have the 6th, 7th, and 8th uh, winners and runners-up. But uh, next up, it's the 4th through 5th graders uh, from all of the different elementary schools and the, the winners and the runner-ups there. I thought everyone had uh, very good diction and uh, presented themselves so calmly. Uh, you know, I, I would be nervous as a cat, I think, if I had to come up here in front of a big auditorium and other people to, uh, but they seem to take it all pretty well in stride. They did great, but Bill, my question is, were you spelling each of the words in your head? I was, and I, I, and I had to contain myself because I wanted to help them. <laughs> so uh, it, was, it was certainly a good, good start to the day, and, and it's great to be here at South Middle School for this first ever spelling bee, and I think we're about ready to get started, so we'll switch over. Okay, we are ready to start our grade four or five round for our spelling bee. If you weren't here earlier, I'd like to welcome you all on behalf of, of the gifted and talented department in our host South Middle School to our Henderson County District Spelling Bee for 2022. Our judges today are Jody Eblin, she is a GT specialist, Leslie Bartow, assistant principal from Spotsville, and Crystal Tao, guidance counselor from North Middle School. I'm Jennifer Hollis, and I am your moderator for today. We're going to present our winners and runners up with their certificate first. When I call your name, if you're a winner, we ask that you stay on the stage to draw a number to figure out what order you will be in. If you're a runner up, you may take your certificate back to your seat. Our AB Chandler 4 5 winner, Paisley Pippin. A.B. Chandler runner-up, Carson Taylor. Bingate winner, Zachary Russin. Bingate runner-up, Mason Lane. 
Cairo Winner, Caden Altore Neri. Runner up, Lucas Mueller. East Heights winner, Ava Baker. East Heights runner up, Gareth Wilson. Jefferson winner, Abigail Hefner. Jefferson runner up, Joseph Powell. Niagara winner, Amelia Coney. Niagara runner up, Jackson Parker. South Heights winner, Terrence Wallace. South Heights runner up, Amani Thompson. Spotsville winner, Isabella Perez. Spotsville runner-up, Chloe Wolf. Once everyone is seated, I'm going to go over some rules for the B with the students, with the participants, and then we will do a practice round before beginning the actual spelling B. Okay, participants, rules for today. It is your sole responsibility to understand the word that I am saying. So if you're hearing something you think is different than what I'm saying, it is important that you ask me to repeat the word. I can repeat the word as many times as you need me to do that, but you have to ask me, okay? And that is completely okay if you say, can you repeat that? I absolutely can. I can also use that word in a sentence for you as well as define that word for you. So if you need either of those, you can ask me both. You can ask me all three, but you have to ask, okay? If a word is a homophone, you may hear me actually give you the definition in case I, I want you to know what word I'm talking about and you may not know because it sounds different or spelled different. You have a notepad and a pencil. That is for you to use to write down the word that you were given. You may take that to the microphone with you um, and write that word out. You can even read it from the notepad, okay? So that is your resource for today. We need you to speak loudly into the microphone. And even if you think you're being too loud, that's okay. We want to make sure we're hearing what you're saying. So I need you to speak loudly. Get close to the microphone, okay? It will not pick you up from here. You need to be in the microphone. We need you to speak clearly, so I need to hear exactly what you're saying. We need you to enunciate that, those letters, so speak very clearly. Also, if you're saying a word to me, for example, the word cat, we know the word cat is spelled C-A-T, but you say K-C-A-T, I have to take that K as your first response, okay? Also, if you're saying a word and you start the word C-A, and then you think for a second, you have to give me those two letters back. Even if they're wrong, you have to give me those two letters, C-A-T. You have to repeat it in the same way that you said it the first time, okay? Any questions about that? Okay, if you misspell a word, you're just going to return to your seat for that round, and then at the end of that round, we'll ask you to go have a seat in the chairs in the back, okay? So you'll finish that round in the seat you're in, and then we'll ask you to move to the back. Any questions about that? No? Okay, we're going to start with a practice round first. These words do not count. If you misspell this word, that is okay. It is just a practice round. Also, this first round, I'll call your name to come up to the microphone. But after this round, we'll just go in order, one through four on the front row, five through eight on the back row. Okay? All right. Ava. Bello. Can you, say, can you give me the definition? 
the definition? To utter in a loud, powerful voice, bellow. Bellow. B-E-L-L-O-W. Correct. Correct. Terrence. Terrence. Myth. M-Y-T-H. Correct. Correct. Paisley. Bishop. I'm sorry. The definition. A high-ranking Christian cleric in modern churches, usually in charge of a diocese. Bishop. B i s h o p. Correct. Paisley, can you speak into the microphone really loudly? Okay, so we can hear you. But that is correct. Jackson. Globe. Can we repeat that? Globe. Correct. You all are able to move the microphone to your height, okay? So if you need to pull that down or pull that up, you may do that. Speak right into the microphone. Abigail. Organ. Can you repeat that? Organ. O R G A N. Correct. Caden. Waitress. Waitress. W A I T R E S S. Yes, waitress. And speak loudly. Isabella. Shutter. S H U T T E R. Correct. Zachary. Atomic. A T O M I C. Correct. Okay, I know I keep saying this over and over, but do you see how Miss Hollis is holding the microphone and speaking into it very clearly? That is what we need you to do, okay? I know you probably haven't used a microphone very often, but it doesn't pick up your voice if you're back here, okay? So right into the microphone very loudly and very clearly, okay? All right, this is going to begin round one. Again, I won't call your names each time. We'll just go in order, one through four, then five through eight, okay? Ava's going to start us off. Shelter. Shelter. S-H-E-L-T-E-R. Correct. Unfold. N F O L D. Correct. Correct. Tornado. T O R N A D O. Correct. Correct. Boredom. Will you repeat that word? Boredom. Boredom. B O R D U M. That is incorrect. It is B O R E D O M. Element. E L E M E N T. Correct. Ivory. <clears throat> Ivory. I V E R Y. That is incorrect. It is I V O R Y. Profit. P R O F I T. Correct. Correct. 
Lizard. L I Z A R D. Correct. Okay, if you missed a word in that round, you may go sit in the back chair row. And we are beginning round two with a reminder to speak loudly and clearly into the microphone. Cabinet. Cabinet. C A B I N E T. Correct. Question. Q U E S T I O N. Correct. Skyscraper. S K Y S C R A P E R. Correct. Spawn. Can you use that in a sentence? In genetics, scientists try to predict what characteristics spawn will have based on the parents. Spawn. S P A W N. Correct. Archery. A R C H E R Y. Correct. Charcoal. C H A R C O A L. Correct. Beginning round three. Image. Image. I M A G E. Correct. Polka. P O L C A. That is incorrect. It is P O L K A. Database. B-A-S-E. Correct. Fierce. F-I-E-R-C-E. -E. Correct. Comedy. C-O-M-E-D-Y. Correct. Correct. Radius. R A D I U S. Correct. Okay, we're beginning round four, and I ask that you get really close to the microphone, speak loudly and clearly. Waffle. Waffle. W A F F L E. Correct. Cranberry. C R A N B E R R Y. Correct. Plaid. Can you use that in a sentence? The bagpipe player wore a plaid kilt. Plaid. P L A I D. Correct. Kitchen. Can you repeat that? Kitchen. C I T. C H E N. Can you repeat the word, please? C I, I mean K I, T C H E N. That's incorrect. It is K I T C H E N. P 
percent. P E R C E N T. Correct. Okay, that is the end of round four. Beginning around five. Ounce. Ounce. O U N C E. Correct. Tissue. T I S S U E. Correct. Deafening. Can you repeat that? Deafening. Can you use it in a sentence? Mm hmm. The low flying plane was deafening to the crowd. Deafening. What's the definition? Extremely loud. Deafening. D E A F E N I N G. Correct. Vitamin. V I T A M I N. Correct. Okay, we are beginning round six. Remote. Remote. R E M O T E. Correct. Screeching. S C R E E C H I N G. Correct. Secretary. S E R E T A R Y. Correct. Awful. A W F U L. Correct. Beginning round seven. Universal. Universal. U N I V E R S A L. Correct. Correct. Ordinary. D-I-N-A-R-T-R-Y. It's incorrect. O-R-D-I-N-A-R-Y. Remainder. R-E-M-A-I-N-D-E-R. Correct. Centimeter. S E N T I M E T E R. It's incorrect. It is C E N T I M E T E R. That is the end of round seven. If you need to move to the back row, please. We'll begin round eight. Okay, I'm going to go over a couple of rules as we have two contestants left, two participants. When we get down to two people, one person, if one person misspells a word, the other person then must spell a word correctly and then spell an additional championship word correctly to be declared the winner. If that person misspells either of those two words incorrectly, then both students are back in and we will continue with another round. Do you all have any questions about that? Okay, we're beginning round eight. Argue.
Argue. A R G U E. Correct. Purring. Can you use that in a sentence? The newly tuned engine made a purring sound. Purring. P U R R I N G. Correct. Round nine. Massage. Can you repeat that? Massage. Can you give me the definition? The rubbing or kneading of parts of the body, especially to aid circulation, relax the muscles. Massage. M A S S A G E. Correct. Spherical. Spherical. Can you use that in a sentence? The chemistry student observed the spherical drops of oil in the water. Spherical. S P H E R E I C L E. It is incorrect. It is S P H. E R I C A L. Okay, Ava. Forfeit. Forfeit. F O R E F I T. That is incorrect. It is F O R F E I T. Metabolism. M I T A B L I S M. That is incorrect. It is M E T A B O L I S M. So we will begin round 12, 11, excuse me, round 11. Hygiene. Hygiene. H Y G I E N E. Correct. That's correct. Yes. You can have a seat. Sorry. Okay, your turn. Reservoir. Can you repeat that? Reservoir. That in a sentence. The dam created a reservoir that re served as the water supply for the town. Reservoir. R E S I V W A R. That is incorrect. It is R E S E R V O I R. Ava? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. V 
E G E T A R I A N. Correct. Okay, so have a seat for a second. All right, so now Ava will spell a championship word. You ready, Ava? Rhombus. Rhombus. R-O-M-B-U-S. That is incorrect. It is R-H-O-M-B-U-S. So now we will start a new round. We will go back into a new round. And we will start with Abigail. Technique. T E C H N I Q U E. Correct. Magnolia. Magnolia. M A G N O L I A. Correct. Epidemic. Can you use that in a sentence? A tuberculosis epidemic killed many people in the early 20th century. E. P E D E M I C. That is incorrect. E P I D E M I C. Ava? Typhoon. Can you give me the definition? A tropical cyclone occurring in the Western Pacific or Indian Oceans. Typhoon. T Y P H O O N. That is correct. And we will wait for you to spell your championship word after the class change. You can have a seat and wait.
Okay, Ava, this will be your championship word. Discreetly. Discreetly. D I S C R E A T L Y. That is incorrect. So, with that, that will begin a new round with both girls back in. Abigail. Unorthodox. U N O R T H A D O C S. That is incorrect. It is U N O R T H O D O X. Ava. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. B O O K. B O O K K E E P E R. Correct. Okay, you can stay right there. Okay, for your championship word, tortoise. Tortoise. T O R T O I S E. Correct. Congratulations to Ava Baker. She has won our fourth fifth grade round with runner up being Abigail Hefner. So runner up, Abigail Hefner. And our intermediate winner for our Henderson County District Spelling Bee, Ava Baker. We will start our middle school round in just a little bit.
All right, and we are back after just a little bit of a, uh, a break in between the rounds here at the South Middle School, the District Spelling Bee, brought to you by the Henderson County School System and staff, um, always uh, striving for excellence. And also uh, want to say a big thanks to the Henderson County Public Library for uh, joining us as well today. And we've concluded uh, the first two rounds and the, this last round also pretty tough. It will be. I would like to congratulate Miss Ava Baker, who won the fourth and fifth grade round. She is an East Heights student, and Miss Abigail Hefner, who was went runner-up for Jefferson Elementary. Now it goes a little bit different this round, Bill, when it comes to our middle schools. Um, North Middle School and South Middle School will each have six students. The winners and runners-up for each grade, 6th, 7th, and 8th, for both schools will compete. So we will have 12 students up here at once. Exactly, and, and the uh, I understand that this round really gets uh, very competitive and uh, could take a little while. So uh, we've got some really good spellers in the district, don't we? We really do, and you know, that brings me to Read Across America Day on March 2nd. We find that our students who, or well, just anyone who is a good speller is a big reader. In just 20 minutes a day, you'll get over a million words a year extra. So it's pretty amazing. And we're gonna celebrate Read Across America Day all next week in Henderson County Schools. So we're giving away, I know, gift cards and we're gonna do announcements and share stories from um, community members. So we ask you to just follow us and upload any pictures you may have of your student reading between now and March 1st, no, March 4th, 4th. <laughs> with hashtag HCS Reads. And I'm so glad that uh, the weather cleared up as quickly as it did. I know with the uh, NTI day that we had yesterday, the last thing we wanted to do is try to push uh, things like this off uh, even further into the future because we're on a tight schedule this year. We're almost done with February. Uh, we both know how quickly things go through March and then it'll be April. And then before you know it, it's graduation time. I know and graduation for the high school is set for May 26th easy day to remember it's my husband's birthday so we're going to have to postpone uh, dinner for a few days. You could have a uh, cake at the Ford Center. Oh, we could. I could always sneak out just a little bit early too. No doubt, exactly. But uh, that's good to remember and, and of course we've got prom coming up very soon and a lot of those other great uh, activities but, and, but this is another great mile uh, stone as far as the district spelling bee and, and uh, now in years past the, so the winners would sometimes go on to the state competition. I don't believe that's the case anymore. I'm not sure. That is something we would have to ask Miss Jill uh, Alexander, who is mm -hmm. head of the Gifted Talented Program for Henderson County Schools, who is um, our behind the scenes person today, making sure everything works correctly. And handing out the trophies. Absolutely. She's doing a wonderful job, as are our judges. And uh, again, uh, thanks to Miss uh, uh, Hollis, Jennifer Hollis, who is our moderator today, and of course our judges uh, doing a great job. And I think we're almost, uh, are we almost ready for the next round? I think we may be waiting on South students. We have all of our North students here, and I only say that because I recognize several of them mm -hmm. from church. Um, so we are almost ready. Some of those words in this last round, though, I would have had some real difficulty uh, thank goodness for spell check these days. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? But I also have the good old Merriam-Webster dictionary right. on my desk and in my phone. Yeah, along probably with a thesaurus and uh, the uh, writing styles by Mr. Strunk, I think. But uh, super that we could have this today and uh, had really a good crowd here on hand too for this spelling bee. We have, and we're just so excited that we can have parents and family in our schools now. Um, if you are thinking about volunteering for the school system, we have started that back. Um, we're kind of working our way back into it. Our numbers are very low. They are still listed on our school website in case anyone in the community is curious about that. But just reach out to the school in which you would like to volunteer and they will get you lined out with everything you would need. There are several things, but it's for the safety of our students. 
And as um, hopefully time goes on, we'll start to see more you know, of the things that we've had been able to do in the past, like field trips or guest speakers come into classrooms and things of that nature. Well, we do have arts in the schools starting back up. Oh, really? Um, Great. Each year in the past, we had a Native American program. Uh, the gentleman um, is of Native American descent, and he comes from south of Nashville. We partnered with Han Oval to present that program. So that will be happening in March at each of our elementary schools for the fifth grade because it meets their curriculum. And we're also working to get our students um, prepared for, like you said, the possibility of guest speakers, field trips, and different things in the school. We're, we're ready to get back to a bit of normalcy. And, and just great that we've been able to spend so much time in the classroom, even despite <laughs> Mother Nature's uh, uh, iterations of all kinds of ice and snow. And we've had more of a winter season this year than we've had to deal with in some time, at least it seems like to me. I don't remember there being as much ice as there has been this year, just small amounts, but enough to make it unsafe for our students and our drivers and our staff members to be on the roadway. And it's just not one event. It has been several events, either give us snow or let's go to school. All right, uh, I think we're getting everything set for the middle school round live from the South Middle School as we do have the um, sixth, seventh and eighth grade. And again, the winners and the runners up. So as uh, Jennifer mentioned, we'll have uh, 12 young people here about to uh, part uh, participate in this district spelling bee. And again, thank you to the Henderson County Public Library for being our sponsor of this. So um, we're gonna take just a little time out here while they get things set. And we'll be right back with you shortly here at South Middle.
to our middle school round for our Henderson County District Spelling Bee. Welcome on behalf of the Gifted and Talented Department and our host South Middle School. We're glad you could join us today for our Spelling Bee. We are going to introduce our judges first. We have Jody Eblin, GT Specialist, Leslie Bartow, Assistant Principal from Spotsville, and Crystal Tao, Guidance Counselor from North Middle School. I'm Jennifer Hollis and I'm your moderator for today. We are going to present all of you with your certificate. If you are a runner up or and winner this time, you are going to stay on the stage, get your number for the order that you will be spelling in, and then have a seat on the chair that corresponds with your number. Okay, so everyone stays on the stage. North Middle School sixth grade winner, Abigail Vaughn. Sixth grade runner up, Garrison McCord. North Middle School seventh grade winner, Ava Ziegler. Seventh grade runner up, Jackson Monroe. North Middle School eighth grade winner, Libby Townsend. Eighth grade runner up, Sonny Shelton. South Middle School 6th grade winner, Avery Hampton. 6th grade runner-up, Lucero Andrade Evangelista. 7th Middle School 7th grade winner, Chloe Bullock. 7th grade runner-up, Camden Wade. South Middle School, eighth grade winner, Logan Duncan. Eighth grade runner up, Nate Gold. Once the students have found their place, we will go over some rules for the B and then have a practice round. Okay, students, for the B today, it is your sole responsibility to understand the word I am saying. If you do not understand, you must ask me to repeat it. I can repeat it as many times as you need me to, but you must ask. So if you think I've said something different than what I've actually said and you spell that word, it will be incorrect. It is your responsibility to know the word. You can ask me to repeat it. You can ask for a sentence and you can also ask for a definition but you must ask. You also have a notepad and a pencil. You may use that to practice spelling your word. You can take that to the microphone with you and you can even read from that as you've spelled your word out, but that is your resource for today. Also, I must take your first response, even if it is incorrect and you realize that. For example, the word cat, if you start with K, O, C, A, I must take the K. Okay. Also, if you start spelling a word like cat and you say C-A and you stop and you restart the word, you must repeat the letters that you've already said. C-A-T. Any questions? Okay. Once you, if you have misspelled a word in a round, you're going to return to your seat. At the end of that round, we will ask anyone who has mis misspelled a word in that round to exit the stage and sit over here to the side, okay? But you won't leave the stage until the end of that round. When using the microphone, you may move it towards you. You can pull it down push it up. Please be close to the microphone. They will not be able to hear you if the microphone is like this. 
also speak loudly and clearly so that we can understand exactly what you are saying. Okay? All right, we will go 1 through 6 and then 7 through 12. The first round, I will call your name to come up to the microphone. After that, we will just go in that order, okay? Once we get down to the last two, I will give you some additional rules for how that works, okay? Good luck. This first round is a practice round. Everyone will get a practice word, and it does not count towards the spelling bee if you spell it incorrectly. So this is practice round. Ava. Cabin. Cabin. C-A-B-I-N. Correct. Libby. Return. Return. R-E-T-U-R-N. Correct. Nate. Wash. 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 W-A-S-H. Correct. Camden. Bring. Bring. B-R-I-N-G. Correct. Lucero. Every. Every. E V. E R Y. Correct. Logan. Forget. Forget. F O R G E T. Forget. Correct. Sunny. Junk. Junk. J U N K. Correct. Jack. Worm. Worm. W O R M. Correct. Chloe. Vine. Vine. Wait. Vine. V I N E. Correct. Avery. Shark. Shark. S H A R K. Shark. Correct. Correct. Abigail. Snake. Snake. S N A K E. Snake. Correct. Garrison. Candy. Candy. C A. N D Y candy. Correct. And that ends our practice round. Just a reminder to speak clearly into the microphone and speak loudly where we can hear you and enunciate each of your letters clearly. Okay? Starting round one coffee. Coffee. C O F F E E. Correct. Imagine. Imagine. I M A G I N E. Correct. Thought. Thought. T H O. U G H T thought. Correct. Dangerous. Dangerous. D A N G E R O U S. Correct. Cancel. C A N C L E. 
Cancel. That is incorrect. It is C A N C E L. Thank you. You can have a seat. Towel. Repeat that. Towel. Towel. T O W E L. Correct. Furnace. Furnace. F U R N A C E. Correct. Laundry. Laundry, L A U N D R Y. Laundry. Correct. Exact. E X A C T. Correct. Urgent. Urgent. U R G E N T. Urgent. Correct. Celebration. 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 C E L E B R A T I O N. Celebration. Correct. Avenue. Avenue. A B A N U E Avenue. That is incorrect. It is A V E N U E. That ends round one. If you misspelled the word, you may exit the stage and sit um, in our audience. Beginning round two. Plural. Plural. P L U R A L. Correct. Terrible. Terrible. T E R. R I B L E. Correct. Surround. Surround. S U R R O U N D. Surround. Correct. Squeeze. Squeeze. S Q U E E Z E. Correct. Suggest. Suggest. S U G G E S T. Correct. Guard. Guard. G U A R D. Correct. Treasure. Treasure. T R E A S U R E. Treasure. Correct. O U N C E. Correct. Receive. Receive. R E C I E V E. 
That is incorrect. It is R E C E I V E. Semifinal. Semifinal. S E M I F I N A L. Correct. That ends round two. You may exit. Beginning round three. You can leave right there. Yep. Thank you, dear. Holiday. Holiday. H O L I D A Y. Correct. Brighton. Brighton. B R I G H T E N. Correct. Continent. Continent. C O N T I N E N T. Continent. Correct. Estimate or estimate? Estimate. Estimate. E S T I M A T E. Correct. Octopus. Octopus. O C T O P U S. Correct. Specialty. Specialty. S P E. C I A L T Y specialty. Correct. Piano. Piano. P I A N O. Piano. Correct. Correct. Headache. Headache. H E A D A C H E. Correct. Examine. Examine. E X A M I N E. Examine. Correct. Beginning round four. Cabbage. Cabbage. C A B B A G E. Correct. Diamond. Diamond. D I A M O N D. Correct. Solemn. Solemn. S O L E M N. Solemn. Correct. Exercise. Exercise. E X E R C I S E. Correct. Senator.
Senator. S E N A T O R. Correct. Straight forward. S T R A I G H T F O R W A R D. Correct. Courage. Courage. C O U R A G E. Courage. Correct. Applause. Applause. A P P L A U S E. Correct. We'll wait for the class change to complete and then we'll start again. F U L beautiful. Correct. Beginning round five. Population. Population. P O P U L A T I O N. Population. Correct. 
strengthen. Strengthen. S T R E N G T H E N. Correct. Sculpture. Sculpture. S C U L P T U R E. Sculpture. Correct. Author. Author. A U T H O R. Correct. Bargain. Bargain. B A R G A I N. Correct. Extinct. E X T I N C T. Correct. Enormous. Enormous. E N O R M O U S. Enormous. Correct. Calories. Calories. C A L O R I E S. Correct. Consonant. Consonant. C O N. -s Consonant. C O N. C I. N E N T. That is incorrect. It is C O N S O N A N T. That is the end of round five. Beginning round six. Significant. Significant. S I G N I F I C A N T. Correct. Mildew. Mildew. M I L D E W. Correct. Tolerant. Tolerant. T O L E R A N T. Tolerant. Correct. Routine. Routine. R O U T I N E. Correct. Commentary. Commentary. C O M M E N T A R Y. Correct. Chemical. C H 
E M I C A L. Correct. Dynamite. Dynamite. D Y N A M I T E. Dynamite. Correct. Fertilize. Fertilize. F E R T I L I Z E. Correct. Beginning round seven. Artificial. Artificial. A R T I F I C I A L. Correct. Successful. Successful. S U C E S S F U L. That is incorrect. It was S U C C E S S F U L. Punctuation. Punctuation. P U N C T U A T I O N. Punctuation. Correct. Casserole. Casserole. C A S S E. R O L E. Correct. Immature. Immature. I M M A T U R E. Correct. Centipede. C E N T I P E D E. Correct. Monarch. Monarch. M O N A R C H Monarch. Correct. Apology. Apology. A P O L O G Y. Correct. That is the end of round seven. Beginning round eight. Denominator. Denominator. D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R. Correct. Velocity. Velocity. V E L O C I T Y. Velocity. Correct. Article.
article. A R T I C L E. Correct. Accurate. Accurate. A C C U R A T E. Correct. Guidance. Guidance. G U I D A N C E. Correct. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. P H A R M A C Y. Pharmacy. Correct. Faucet. Faucet. F A U C E T. Correct. Beginning round nine. Condemn. Condemn. C O N D E M N. Correct. Tutor. Tutor. T U T O R. Tutor. Correct. Exhaust. Exhaust. E X H A U S T. Correct. Pigeon. Pigeon. P I G E O N. Correct. Suburban. Suburban. S U B U R B A N. Correct. Correct. Scholarship. Scholarship. S C H O L A R S H I P scholarship. Correct. Scruple. Scruple. S C R O O P L E. That is incorrect. It is S C R U P L E. That ends round nine. Beginning round ten. Competitive. Competitive. C O M P E T I T I V E. Correct. Monopolize. Monopolize. M O N O P O L I Z E. Monopolize. Correct. Luxury. Luxury. L U X 
U R Y. Correct. Agricultural. Agricultural. A G R I C U L T U R A L. Correct. Affiliation. Affiliation. O F F I L I A T I O N. That is incorrect. It is A F F I L I A T I O N. Apprentice. Apprentice. A P P R E. N T I C E apprentice. Correct. End of round ten. Beginning round eleven, quarantine. Quarantine. Q U R a N T I N E. That is incorrect. It is Q U A R A N T I N E. Hysterical. Hysterical. H Y S T E R I C A L. Hysterical. Correct. Subterranean. Subterranean. S U B T E R R A N I A N. That is incorrect. It is S U B T E R R A N E A N. Miraculous. Miraculous. M I R A C U L O U S. Correct. Oblige. Can I get that in a sentence, please? The new rules oblige students to wear prescribed uniforms to school. Oblige. Oblige. A B L I G E. Oblige. That is incorrect. It is O B L I G E. Ending round 11. Okay, with our two students left, we'll go over a couple of rules that apply to just this part of the round. If one student misses a word, the next student would then have to spell their word correctly and an additional championship word to be declared the winner. If that person misses either of those words, then both students are back into that round and we start a new round. Are there any questions? Okay. Encore. Encore. E N C O R E. Encore. Correct. Centennial. 
Can you repeat that, please? Centennial. Centennial. S E N T E N I A L. That is incorrect. It is C E N T E N N I A L. Round 13. So you would have to spell this word correctly, Nate, and then a championship word. Indelible. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Lily's narrow escape from the drowning left an indelible mark on her personality. Indelible. I N D E L L I B. That is incorrect. It is I N D E L I B L E. Okay, this would then begin a new round. Both students back into the B. Financier. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Looking at her fiancé, Alexa saw the man she loved as well as the financier of her future jewelry collection. Financier. Financer, F-I-N-A-N-C-E-R? That is incorrect. It is F-I-N-A-N-C-I-E-R. Again, Nate, you would have to spell this word and then a championship word. Supplement. Supplement. S U P P L E M N E N T supplement. That was incorrect. It was S U P P L E M E N T. So both students are back in. We'll start another round. Larynx. Larynx, L-A-R-A-N-Y-X. That is incorrect. It is L-A-R-Y-N-X. Patience. Patience. P-A-T-I-E-N-C-E. Patience. That is correct. And now you will need to spell a championship word. Vengeance. Vengeance. V E N G E N C E. Vengeance. That is incorrect. It is V E N G E A N C E. We will begin a new round. Accomplice. Accomplice, A-C-C-O-M-P-L-I-C-E. That is correct. Fallacy. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Though Ben's argument may seem credible, it is pure fallacy. fallacy. 
fallacy. F-A-L-L-A-S-Y. Fallacy. That is incorrect. It is F-A-L-L-A-C-Y. Okay, Logan, you would have to spell this word correctly in an additional word. Infatuation. May you repeat that? Infatuation. Infatuation. I N F A T U A T I O N. That is correct. You must spell one more word. Rotisserie. Rotisserie, R-O-T-I-C-E-R-Y. That is incorrect. It is R-O-T-I-S-S-E-R-I-E. -S -S -E. Both of you are back in for the next round. Palatable. Palatable. P-A-L-A-T-A-B-L-E. Palatable. That is correct. Psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis. P S Y C H O A N A. L Y S I S? Correct. Omniscient. Omniscient. O M N I C I. E N T, omniscient. That is incorrect. It is O M N I S C I E N T. Okay, Logan, you would have to spell this word in an additional word. Enfranchise. Enfranchise. I N F R A N C I S E. That is incorrect. It is E N F R A N C H I S E. This begins a new round. Conundrum. Conundrum. C O N N U N D R U M. Conundrum. That is incorrect. It is C O N U N D R U M. Okay. Okay, you would have to spell this word and an additional word. Analogize. Analogize. A N A L O G I Z E. That is correct. And the championship word would be labyrinth.
Labyrinth. L-A-B-A-R-Y-N-T-H. That is incorrect. It is L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H. We will begin a new round. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. P H O T O S Y N T H E S I S. Photosynthesis. That is correct. Anemone. Anemone. A N E M O N E. Correct. Ado. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Ado, my friends, called the fur trapper as he paddled away from the shore. Ado. Adu, A D I O U X. Adu. That is incorrect. It is A D I E U. Okay, Logan, you would have to spell this word and another. Anticoagulant. Anticoagulant. A N T I C O A G U L E N T. It is incorrect. It is A N T I C O A G U L A N T. Beginning a new round. Paramecium. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Karen used a microscope to observe the division of the paramecium into two daughter cells. Paramecium. Paramecium. P A R A M E C I U M. Paramecium. Correct. Brigadier. Brigadier. B R I G I G I D E R E. That is incorrect. It is B R I G A D I E R. Now you'd have to spell this word correctly and another. Realistic. Realistic. R E A L I S T I C. Realistic. Correct. The championship word is dimension. Dimension. D I M E N S I O N. Dimension. Correct. So congratulations. Thank you to all of our participants, and we'll have the trophy presentation.
So for our middle school runner-up, we have Logan Duncan. And for our middle school champion, Nate Gold. <laughs> Nate and Logan, if you will join Miss Jenny Richmond on the stage, she's going to get your picture. And thank you to all of our participants and all of the people who joined us today. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> 